Hi, Mayor Mark Turner here, and thank you so much for taking time to watch this, this uh, video. I'm here with Brother K.P. Yohannan, the founder of the Gospel for Asia, and we just want to say a few words of encouragement to the community. And, and K.P., I think one of the things that can be done right now that people simply take for granted, and it falls under what I call the law of easy things to do, and that is to stop mm -hmm. on a regular basis and make sure that we pray. And it's as Christians, it's, it's a requirement for us. It's our way of you know, communing with God is to pray. And I say the law falls under the law of easy things to do because it's easy to stop and do it, but it's also easy not to. And it's very important for us. Yeah, you know, um, this morning I was talking to someone our mayor here is uh, eternal mayor. That is, <laughs> <laughs> you are here for hours, ever since uh, we've been here in the community. And um, of course, I, I think uh, warmly uh, of the time you uh, made a trip to India yes. uh, to see that country. And uh, it, this is true. You know, some people get confused that God only hears the prayer of Christians or he don't hear the prayer of the Jewish people or you know, some other religions. But God is a loving God who created all people and, and, and he hears our prayer and he does. And I think I'm so proud of you that, um, you know, I have met tons of mayors, you know, in different parts of the world and all that, but just to know you and your heart for people, other day, somebody was telling me that um, um, you, know, you, you were somewhere on the street and this old grandma was trying to find some toilet paper or milk or something, and um, uh, you went after and got it. And, and, <laughs> and I said to him, I no wonder why he's the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, there's no greater uh, power in the universe than love and then our prayers for God. Uh, to help us in times of troubles like this. And we do here as a ministry pray consistently for our mayor, and we do, well, because Romans 13 tells us that. And all churches uh, are given the uh, command from God um, in times of, especially in times of trouble like this, um, not looking for somewhere else, but going out to help the poor and the needy and the helpless in whatever way we can. And, um, and you have led the community very well for that through your example. And I want to thank you for that. Well, I appreciate that. And I thank you guys, the Gospel for Asia, because you guys have really, since you've been in our community, you've stepped up. Anytime anyone needs something in the community, Gospel for Asia is, is always there. You guys have servants' hearts, and it's fantastic having you out here. Yeah, someday I'm hoping Will's Point will become um, possibly one of the most famous places um, in the whole country uh, <laughs> because we are dreaming about 10,000, 15,000 people coming for conferences and things like that here, which means I'm, I'm sure many new hotels are going up and all those things. But yes. I, I, would, I would plead with our friends, you know, whatever it's, it is, please uh, obey the instructions and the uh, the guidelines our uh, authorities like our mayor or congressman or our president um, you know asking us washing hands and and doing things to be careful and and and, and not to rebel and do things that uh, wouldn't be a good for you or for me or for anyone and I appreciate uh, the, the 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 kind uh, nice people we have in our community and I'm proud of Will's point without any doubt. And, and I know that KP and I are not six feet apart, but this is a small table, so that, uh, <laughs> we're, we're making sure that uh, we abide by the guidelines as well. I, I will say, KP, right now I think that we're in an unprecedented time yes. for churches. And I say that because, in my opinion, too often churches become identified and they identify themselves with the building that they all go to. Mm -hmm. And yes. now that the buildings are closed, it's a true reflection of the church to actually go out and be that servant, taking care of that neighbor, yes. as we're taught in the scriptures. Yes. And you know, the, the, the Bible for 300 years or 400 years for the early church, uh, it was people um, having their worship at home. A church at home is yes. a, a statement that uh, it being resurrected. 
um, you know, they can have an altar and candles and, um, you know, uh, a crucifix or cross and, 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 and people can read the scriptures and pray um, because the two or three or four is as good as 10 million. You know, yes, in terms ab- of that, absolutely. I think a lot of people are doing that o- o- worldwide. It is happening. Yes, yeah. I think we've gone from meeting together now to having these uh, Zoom conferences or go to meeting or Facebook uh, live conferences, which are fantastic. It's a way to stay interconnected together. Some churches are having what they call drive in church, set it up like a drive in movie theater mm. where they're coming in the parking lot with loudspeakers so that everybody can. To, can get together and they see each other. They can't really touch each other, but they see each other, they wave, they smile, uh, finding creative ways to go about this to stay connected. Yeah. And, you know, if you don't mind, maybe we can just pray for our people here. Absolutely. I would love for it. Yeah. So you can join us in prayer and, we, you know, we know God answer our prayer and um, he will help you. Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you for your incredible mercy and kindness to us. You love us not because we are special, holy people. You love us because we are your creation. And we pray, O oh God, that you will please watch over our nation and pray for our president and all those in authority and especially our small community, Lord. I pray for um, our mayor, um, and he being such an example uh, of showing your love and kindness and care for um, our people. Please, O oh Lord, we pray in this community, if there's any be uh, helpless, uh, sick, or in need or something, pray that, O oh God, you will bring peace and you will bring them the help. And help, we pray, for all the uh, churches. Uh, your people will reach out and be the answer uh, to the need of this time. And we thank you for hearing our prayer. And we give you all the glory and honor. And, oh Lord, we pray, please forgive our sins and have mercy on us. And we say all this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, KP. I appreciate that. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely.